What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're talking about some new Gymshark. We have a little sampler platter, some bits and bops as my friends across the pond say. Today we're gonna be checking out some new legacy pieces that are dropping, brand new Elevate designs, some new sweats, and the sweat squirt seamless. God, that's a lot of S's. You guys have been asking about that score. I finally got my hands on it. Wanted to get a solid review of that here on the channel because the questions are endless when it comes to that score. So have no fear, we are covering it all here. But before we hop into it, definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You do not want to miss what's coming up next. Also, don't forget my code Ashley G saves you 10% on all your Gymshark orders. Everything on the site does not matter if it's discounted or not. My code does save you that 10% and it also helps big time to support this channel. It keeps these reviews coming your way. So a big thank you if you do choose to use my code. I appreciate it so very much. Measurements are right over here. You can also find them in the description box below. Every single item I share with you today will be linked down below for your convenience. And if you haven't, definitely check out my last Gymshark video. That was just a few days ago. I reviewed the new Limitless collection. I'll have the Limitless and the new video linked down below in one spot just so you don't miss a beat. Speaking of Limitless, real quick, did anybody else notice that they are in fact coming out with a teal color? In my Limitless review, I actually made a joke. I said, now Gymshark has this little naughty habit of saying these pieces will come in certain colors and then all of a sudden on launch day, you'll see something random like a freaking teal or something. <laughs> I literally picked the first random color that popped into my head and said it. And a couple days later, I got some gals DMing me while I'm shopping at the grocery store. And they're like, dude, you called it. You're a psychic. Big ups to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. We need to talk about the skirt. This is the Sweat Skirt Seamless Triple S. Now I grabbed the white one because I feel like I have a lot of black skorts in my wardrobe, but I felt like the white was appropriate for summertime. I felt like I could pair it with a lot of pastels and bright colors, so I went with the white. We have the same band that's on your sweat shorts, so it's pretty compressive and fairly thick. I actually really like that they made a skort version. Even though the shorts are okay, they're not my favorite because they wrinkle a lot. That type of material just wrinkles a lot. The fact that they made these into a lightweight skort is nice because you don't see any wrinkling. It has a natural loose fit. The top layer is very, very lightweight and breathable. They kept the eyelet designs on both sides. Very cute little intricate details. When I'm just standing there, you can definitely see through this top layer. You can see the shorts underneath. The built-in shorts, very comfortable, but they do cinch in a little bit around the thighs. It did feel slightly tight. These built-in shorts are pretty thick. So it's like wearing the sweat shorts underneath. It's not like some skorts where it's super thin and it just rolls and snaps up on you. This doesn't roll, snap, doesn't budge. It's very comfortable. But when you bend over, you better believe that you're gonna see some lining. You will see your undershorts. Now, given that it's essentially the sweat shorts built in, there's no pockets none whatsoever. No dreaded CT, nothing uncomfortable when it comes to the lining. Like I said, my only slight issue is that it cinches in my thighs a bit. I would definitely stick to my true size, but if you're somebody who's in between, if you feel like you need some more room around the thighs, then I would suggest sizing up. Even if you're wearing this while playing golf or tennis, or if you're looking to do any type of sport in this sport, you're good when it comes to sweating. I did perform the sweat test in these and it was not detectable whatsoever. Overall, I think you could do a lot with this squirt. You could either dress it up, dress it down. You can definitely wear it while being active. Again, you got that compressive waistband. It's not shifting or moving on you. It's a very well constructed squirt. It really is up to you. It's up to you what you want to do with it. Following up on the fun summer fits. Let's talk the new Elevate. So they're dropping a misty pink, swirly, spray dye Elevate print. <laughs> and I love it. This is the first time they ever did a spray dye like this on the Elevate. And I think it works really well. It reminds me of strawberry cheesecake. Now, you know I've done Elevate reviews before. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. There's a lot to like about the Elevate. It's very, very wicking. It's more geared towards athleisure and aerobic style exercises. It's not something I like to work out in the gym with, no way. But it really works well for fashion purposes. I actually love wearing this as a full set because you can really work with this bra nicely. So if I'm looking to just wear it out, 
I'm gonna put this flap down on the bra. But if I'm looking to spice things up, maybe do some exercises, I could take that bra flap and tuck it in, like you know I like to do. And then all of a sudden it just looks a little more sporty. The two top concerns I had when seeing this print, does the print fade in meaty areas around the glutes, the thighs, and things like that? The answer is no. When standing, it's fine. When squatting, it's fine too. It does not fade out. I wore this set with nude and black underwear like I did in the previous Limitless video. Give you guys a better idea whether it's sheer or not. You do see a little bit of the black undies. When you're squatting, when you're standing, you can kind of see them a little bit. Nude, you don't see at all. So if I were you, wear a nice nude underwear and you're A-OK. -okay. And I just had to cover whether or not this was sweat proof or not. With this light of a design, I had to test it out. Very, very sweat friendly. Didn't even show sweat. I think this design really just distracts you completely, but nothing showed through. Now I know that Gymshark's been very hit or miss for a lot of you guys lately, but I feel like with the past few launches, they've really been hitting their stride. I think they did a really great job on this set all around. I think the print spot on. The material, the quality of the Elevate, it's good. The only thing that gets me hung up about the Elevate collection, the only freaking thing is this T-seam on the back. If they had anything, no, that's not true, not anything. If they had a V-seam on the backside, Okay, that's all I'm gonna say is just this. Everything else is so good. I mean, the material's great for the summer. It's got that cooling effect, it wicks. It's comfortable for all day wear. I do think this whole set is very true to size. If you're in between, me personally, in between, I would size up in the leggings because I feel like the glute space could tend to be a little snug. So if we're similar in that area, sizing up if you're in between might be the route you wanna take. I think when it comes to the bra, it's a somewhat bulkier bra. If you're in between, you probably could get away with sizing down if we have similar cup sizes. The only thing I'd be weary about with sizing down would be this seam right here. It can fit a little bit snug, so if you size down, it could run the risk of digging a little bit more. So, it's almost... <sighs> I get so scared when the doorbell rings. <laughs> Such a millennial. Now I know they just released some Legacy not too long ago. Maybe about a month ago, actually. Remember the truffle brown Legacy leggings? I feel like we were just talking about their new Legacy pieces, which we were. So to follow up with that drop, they released some additional pieces that you can add onto those sets. So I have the truffle brown leggings, and now I grab the truffle brown Legacy shrug tee. I feel like a shrug is a cool way to add on top of your set, but not really detract from, say, your sports bra. So you're still seeing your sports bra, but you're adding a little, little seasoning on top of your set, right? Set seasoning. So you do have the Tonal Legacy logo, very big, printed on the back. Now with this style, it is a t-shirt, very limited amount of stretch. I think the sleeves are my favorite because they come long. You can roll them up, I did. This cut, this raw style cut, will naturally roll on you. So even in the back, you can see the overlap, even me hanging it right here, just holding it. You can see where it starts to roll, and that's a part of the style. It's meant to look grungy, meant to look like you took a t-shirt and just went to town on it. The Legacy is one of their bodybuilding staples. So they always come out with those grungy pieces within this range. I love it, and I love these just as much. This is also coming in black. I had this one as well. I'm actually wearing it right now, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm wearing, duh. These are very true to size. If you're in between and you want it a little more snug, I think you can get away with sizing down, but just do keep in mind, there's a very minimal stretch. So if anything, true to size, I'm sizing up if anything, because the looser, the better. They're also dropping a quarter zip legacy sweatshirt. Now I grabbed the black one, but they're also coming in a fresh mint green. So on this black piece, you do have the printed logo in gray on the back. Again, this is a full size, so it's not cropped, it's not even midi, it is a full length sweater. It is a quarter zip. There's not very much stretch in it at all. This is an oversized fit. My size small is great. If you're in between, size up, just because, you know, lack of stretch, you wanna be comfortable. You do have a full kangaroo pocket in the front. You have one seam that goes straight across the sweater. And underneath your arms, you have a full rib paneling. Just to break up the design, give it a little dimension. We gotta talk about the inside. It's not plush. Hey, they wouldn't do that to you in the summertime, would they? So it's it's soft but rugged at the same time. How on earth do I explain this? It's not 
rest day rugged. And if you guys know the rest day sweats, they're my favorite Gymshark sweats hands down. I'm actually wearing them right now. I wear them every single day. I'm not even exaggerating. Well, this is similar, but not as rugged. So it's not as soft as plush, but it's definitely softer than this like terry cotton I have on. It does feel a bit thinner, definitely more lightweight than the rest day sweats. That's what I'm comparing it to because that's what I know best. And that's really, those are the sweats that Gymshark's known for. Those rest day sweats are something else. Gone are the days of the Gymshark Pippas. Do you remember them? Oh, wow. But times, they are a changing. Gymshark doesn't do it anymore. They're coming out with more baggier styles. They're keeping up with the trends. Introducing the new Gymshark Collegiate Sweat Set. This is in the color Ink Teal. I grabbed my true size small in the joggers. However, I grabbed a large in the hoodie because Bay and I like to share. I mean, I'm glad we did, I did that for you, really. Uh, this is me sacrificing because I'm a married woman. I forgot to wear my ring, whoops. The thing is, is this is way too big on me. This is already oversized, and then I sized up two sizes, all right? The things you do for love, I'll tell you that much. But I also love Gymshark, so I kind of wish I just stuck with my small. The small would have been perfectly oversized on me. The large, it's a little too oversized. You know when you hit the brim of just something being way too oversized, and then it just ends up looking sloppy? Luckily, the joggers are, mm. So good. These are now my new favorite summer sweats because these are more thin, more lightweight, more summer appropriate. If you check out the logos, it just says GS right on the hip. You have two pockets. The lining is the same exact as the legacy that I just shared with you. That legacy sweater has the same lining as this. So like I said before, not as rough and tough, it's definitely softer than the rest day, but not plush at all. You get off the sand and want to throw something over, you could totally use these. You have the elasticated cuffs on the ankles, as well as the waist. You don't have any draw cords. I don't know about you, but I'm noticing lots of brands not putting draw cords on their sweats anymore. And guess what? Good. Gone are the days where I'm taking my chopsticks and shoving them in the hole, that's what she said, and trying to retrieve my lost drawstring. You guys are probably so sick of Michael Scott gifts popping up all the time, are you? Please tell me, is it getting old? I literally watch that show before bed, when I wake up in the morning, editing in the background while I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> You name it, it's our show. So yeah, very, very comfortable, guys. I actually really can't suggest these sweats enough. It's cute, even from the backside, shows off the curves ever so slightly. It doesn't look sloppy, it just looks very trendy. This is, this is nice, this is an iconic look. And I love that they broke out all new logos for this collection. I think it spices things up. Check out the text on the hoodie here. So it says, uniting our community I don't know what that means right there. And then it's G for Gata right in the center here. It says strength and conditioning right over top. Yeah, what do you guys think of this logo? Now I remember the last collegiate that I talked about, you guys were pretty critical on that design. You're, mm, I don't know about that, it's very YMCA-esque. This is a lot more subtle and a little more straightforward. So I feel like more people can get behind this print. The snood neck I actually really like as well. Again, no draw cords. The hood is great, no heavy hood syndrome, lightweight hood. It's a pretty large hood. So if you have a big head like me, or like Bay, I should say, <laughs> he's got a big head. You have a full on kangaroo pocket. Like I said, I love this sweat set. I would like to get one in each color, and I would also like to get my normal size small. No summer is complete without some accessories. Now I know I already talked about these, but just letting you guys know, I grabbed <laughs> another pair of the rest day slides because I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. So I have one in that beige pebble gray color, but I had to grab one in white to match my white skirt that I have now. So I got the smallest size they come in. They are a little bit oversized, but very comfortable. Right here is a bit shallow. Okay, so you can wear it with or without socks. So definitely check out the Gymshark Rest Day Slides if you're in the market for something like this. I already reviewed these, so I'm not gonna get too much into it, but I definitely suggest these. So I grabbed the handwriting baseball cap. It's a white hat with a firefly green, three-dimensional sewn text. I felt like this firefly green with the white, it was just such a summer mood. Especially the text, it has that carefree cursive. Speaking of cursive, I don't even remember how to do cursive anymore. They don't teach you in school. Fun fact, Bay only writes in cursive and I can never read his handwriting. It's not your typical stiff hat. It has a softness to it, almost like a soft, thin linen feel. Literally feels like they made it out of these curtains behind me. 
you have the adjustable back, the under brim matches the text, and you also have some more Gymshark logos underneath. The devil is in the details with this one. It's a one size fits all. We need to talk some bags. <laughs> Just First, let's talk the lifestyle bag. This is in the color terracotta. Also comes in black. Now, the first thing I noticed about this crossbody bag is I have a lot of Gymshark bags. I have little mini lifestyle backpacks, other crossbodies, big duffels, you name it. I love their bags. So unlike their traditional bags, this one is very minimal in terms of the logo, I should say. You have a shark face tonal logo, that's it. Other than on the actual physical zipper, the metal on the zipper, but other than that, it's nowhere to be found. It's not screaming in your face. So you have a ton of little compartments. In case you're wondering, a water bottle does fit right into the body of the bag. That's actually important. Like me, I always have to carry water everywhere I go. So that does fit that. You can fit your phone in two different compartments, the body of the bag or the back here for easy access. It's just a snap button closure. I love this because it's a very practical crossbody. The actual strap is glossy. So it's got a little satin shine to it while the rest of the bag is matte. Okay, I just aggressively went to town on these zippers and they're all hanging in there. <laughs> I feel like the front pockets are a little more stubborn to open, but the quality overall is good. Like it's not gonna fall off its track. I do think my favorite bag that they've recently come out with is this mini quilted tote. Are you kidding? Anybody remember the Missy Elliott video? <laughs> I can't stand the rain. That is what this reminds me of because it's a quilted little puffer. So I have two quilted bags here. One's the mini tote. One is the yoga tote. So let's start with the mini tote. So you have two fixed handles. You also have an attachment. So you can make it a crossbody if you wanted to, have it more of a satchel, nice day bag, but you can dress it up and wear it tote style. This can totally hide right inside the purse or you could take it off completely. You have a rubberized patch logo on the front, pretty big actually, but blends right into the quilted material. It's made out of 100% recycled polyester. You do have a small zippered compartment inside, along with two elasticated pockets as well. And let's not forget the back. This one is completely hidden, but you do have a very small button pocket. Ooh. It's real, real small. I mean, you could put maybe like, maybe your keys or chapstick, or something you just wanna hide. I'm not gonna ask questions, I don't wanna know. <laughs> Definitely not big enough for a phone, that'll have to go on the inside. But yeah, look at Gymshark coming out with some new styles here. This is very luxurious. Now let's talk about the quilted yoga tote. Now if you're in the market for something way bigger, you won't even wanna use this as a gym bag, that's what it's here for. It also duels as a pillow. So in the front you have the same exact logo, a full zip pocket in the front, how this one opens is not a zipper. This big compartment is a draw cord. It comes apart just so, and then it's like reaching into one big bag. Very open, no zippers to worry about. This is the only way a laptop can fit in here is going this way, and it still does not. It comes right out the top here, all right? So a laptop will not fit, but school books, notepads, and iPads will definitely fit in that sleeve. Now the cool part is right here on the back, you have two zippers that once you unzipper both sides, you can throw a yoga mat right in the middle here. If you keep them zippered, they can act as just a pocket. So if you're not carrying around a yoga mat, you can use it as a spare pocket in the back. The strap comes with a pad for your shoulder, so there's no digging. So again, perfect for college students, gym goers, summer trips. This bag is pretty sexy. <laughs> It's sexy and it's sleek. I'm very pleased with these new pieces. The Elevate design is spot on. Love that collegiate sweat set. I need more of those right now. These new legacy accessories, dope. So yeah, 10 out of 10 hit for me. I love everything and I hope you guys do too. Let me know if you have any questions about anything I shared with you today. By the time you guys are watching this video, everything should be live. So I'll have everything linked down below for you. Drop a comment with a video you'd like to see next. Thank you guys for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Get out of here. I'm filming a YouTube video, goddammit. Make sure my extensions aren't popping through. Mm, nope, they are. Can you see them? Yeah. There they are. <laughs> oh, shit.
So we're looking at the sweat seamless, no, sweat squirt seam, no. <laughs> it's the sweat squirt. A little birdie is about to tell you that we have some legacy pieces dropping. Yeah. I got my, I'm Gen, what am I? Generation X? We're millennials. I'm a millennial. Okay. 